and and neither of us exist. And we are uh, energy. We're energy. We're one giant field of energy dancing for itself. Dancing? That's exactly it. And we shouldn't take it so personally, you know, because it really is just a beautiful, beautiful relative manifestation and it's here for us to enjoy. Thank you for your energy. Yeah. Jim Carrey. Thank, thank you, you again. sir. All right. I appreciate it. We're and uh, here anyway. We are, we have, we're not we, actually here we are, in an absolute we're, sense. Yes, but we are live. In the Zeta Vedanta sense, we don't <laughs> exist at all. <laughs> we are going through that lens on the uh, iPhone. Not really. Not, not really? No, no, no. I think we are. We're just I a think cluster people, of tetrahedrons people, <laughs> people soaked are, in desperation. <laughs> well, that part's true. That is true. Um, so uh, There's no you. No. We're not here. This is a dream? There's just things happening. And there are clusters of tetrahedrons moving around together. Okay. That's the truth. You do believe No matter that. what happens, absolutely. I think that we have to play our parts as relative manifestations of consciousness. We, we're on a game grid here. This is a lovely fantasy we're, we're going through, and I think that it's important that we play our parts. And I want to play a good one. I like to play good guys. You right, know? right. And, uh, you know, so you do what you can, but ultimately, you got to remember that it's not who you are. This is not who we are. You know, we're in the absolute sense every freaking thing that you see me do. And you are so, you know, beyond immense, beyond imagining. You know, so I, that's where I live. I live outside my body, in, in it too, but outside it. So I don't get hung up on what's going to happen to this character too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, wow, that's a really good philosophy to have. I mean, it's really, because people are in a lot of despair. Yeah. And I get caught up in the story like everybody else because it's really compelling at times. You know, the plot is compelling. Right. And uh, you think you're going to lose something. It's just not possible. You know, whatever your circumstances are. Uh, it means we're all going nowhere. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a big pageant of nothing rising out of nothing and happening for no one. Oh, and once you understand that, all the pressure is off. And you can just enjoy yourself. Too, if you were going to go back to stand-up, and you said something about there's no Jim Carrey to sell anymore. Could you explain to me what you meant by that? I wrote it because it really stuck with me. It really resonated. With me. Well, I think that it resonates because it's the truth of everybody. You know, we spend our whole lives trying to invent ourselves and trying to figure out, you know, what this is. You know, and it's and it's just a collection of abstract ideas. You know, from your your ethnic background to your nationality to your you know whatever all of that stuff those are all ideas you've been given exactly you know and so where you end up at the end of it you you might be successful but you're unhappy and you don't know why because oh this thing didn't work this is not a this is not a real thing it's something i cobbled together and uh and uh, well then what is the real thing and the real thing is everything it's so interesting that you said that the only reason that you're jim carrey is because your parents called you that you could have been Exactly. I always think about that about myself. Yeah. I'm Jeffrey Gurian because my parents chose that name. I'm DNA. I'm a bunch of cells, man. Yeah, and Jeffrey means go eat them up. <laughs> so Jeffrey cool. Jeffrey means make us look good. 